Remember the days when I used this thing here, my temp gun, to measure the temperature on my performance and benchmarking tests I did on all the phones? Now this thing can go in the past because right now guys, I think I'm going to upgrade to the Goyojo or Goyoho thermal imaging camera. This model is the GW340. It has a 192 by 192 resolution and it can measure from minus 20 to plus 400 Celsius, which is just amazing. And before I put this baby on my unbox table, let's pretend we're an educational channel and let's see how this thing works. And then of course, I'm going to unbox it, review it and give you my opinion. By the way, this has been sent to me by the manufacturer, but this video is gonna be my totally own opinion. So let's start. A thermal camera is essentially a heat vision camera. It works by seeing the heat that every object gives off instead of the visible light that we can see with our own eyes. This is the process explained in simple terms. So everything on this earth we see is hot. Even the cold stuff is hot. So everything that isn't the absolute coldest possible temperature, which is about minus 273 Celsius, guys, gives out heat energy. Even ice cubes, this heat energy travels in the form of light, infrared light. And this is something we cannot see really with our eyes. Think of this as an invisible wavelength of the energy. So the hotter something is, the more infrared light is gonna blast out. So imagine my phone on my desk pumping 50 Celsius with a 3D Mark Extreme stress test. Or imagine my other phone sitting on my review table and just idling. It will have a different heat energy signature. So now, how does the thermal imaging camera work? They have a special eye, and this is a lens and a sensor inside. So think of it, it's like a proper camera, of course, because it has a sense and also a sensor inside. But the sensor is actually the crucial part because it's designed to be very sensitive to infrared light. Remember, the one we cannot see with our own eyes. So now in my future reviews, when I'm pointing this camera to the smartphones or everything else I'm testing, it's going to capture exactly this infrared light. And this camera is going to help me measure the infrared light at a very single point I want to measure. So the more infrared light, the hotter the object is. And as you're going to see, there's going to be plenty of colors, right? Fake colors, because again, remember, we cannot see infrared light. So this type of camera needs a software to be able to produce different type of colors for a more contrast image so that we're able to understand then oh this is cold right and oh this is very hot okay now after this short educational video let's proceed with the unbox so here we are on my review table guys goyojo thermal imaging okay let's try to remove the packaging and here we are goyojo thermal imaging we have a nice display of the product itself made for iphone plug and play 96 by 96 detector, real-time super resolution of 192 by 192 guys, industrial grade temperature measurement, wide range from minus 20 Celsius to 400 Celsius. This is absolutely enough for me just frying my phone. Face focus design, no focus adjustment needed, no charging required. Also on their website guys, they claim that this thing will consume 0.31 watts consumption. So this is below 0.5 watts. So this thing should barely discharge your battery. Also guys, you can see use of the made for Apple batch means that this accessory has been designed to work with Apple products, Apple iPhones, the ones that are supported, 16 Pro Max, 16 Pro, 15, 15 plus, I guess all the iPhones uh, that do have USB-C. And now without any further ado guys, let's try to unbox this and let's see what we have inside. Okay, wow, a very plain looking metal box. Okay, let's try to open it. Okay, protective foam here, guys. Goyojo or Goyoho, thermal uh, image. Okay, <laughs> another spelling mistake. Thermal image user manual, okay, in German, in English, in French. Device usage guidelines. They mentioned here that the recommended temperature is minus 10 to 50 Celsius. USB type C thermal imaging lens and, yep, a lighting interface. And this is very important, guys. In order for you to use the camera, you need to download an application called THG Start. Now to the product itself. Oh, that's tiny, by the way. This is really tiny, guys. Take a look at this. I was just imagining something bigger, but no, this is absolutely tiny. All right, it has a protective film. Let's remove it. Ta-da! What do we have here? a USB-C to lightning port. So if you want to use this on your old iPhone, just put it like this. First things first, let's try to test it on my Samsung phone, guys. So I'm going to go inside. 
THG star, okay, it's already suggested here. Is that the application? I think it is. Device connection, okay, cool. So I'm going to install the application and now I can open it. Okay, so I'm gonna open the app. I have to agree here. Fast real time temperature measurement. Real time monitoring of the highest temperature, lowest temperature and average temperature of a frame. Accurate temperature measurement, various predefined and customized palettes. This is very good. I'm going to test all of these do it yourself image styles mini series where you can adjust contrast, brightness, and sharpness. And I'm going to click start now, guys. So let's try to put it in. There is something called smartphone module. So I'm just going to loop it like this. Okay. Maybe even like this is going to be better. Okay. What happens next? Oh, open TAG star to handle camera. Yeah. Let's do this. Allow app to access camera, agree, uh, while using the app. Here we are, guys. The first thing I want to check is device information. Device is connected, smartphone module, record more, device upgrade, okay? Let's click here. I'm already on the latest firmware. This would have been this um, menu here. And now let's click on live view, all right? Click on live view. Oh, auto calibration. To ensure temp measurement accuracy, auto calibration will be performed every tens of seconds, which may cause video shuttering. Okay, stuttering, shuttering. You can turn it off for video fluidity. And yeah, okay, it's calibrating. <laughs> this is my hand, guys. And it's measuring the temperature. All right, guys, let's try to see what this baby can do. We just confirmed that the GW340 works with my Android phone and now it's also time to pair it with my iPhone. So let's open App Store, let's click here and let's search. It was THG Start, okay. Yep, this is the same application, let's install it. I have now installed the THG Startup on my iPhone and at the same time, guys, I removed the case of my S25 Ultra. I'm gonna be starting here the Wildlife Extreme Stress Test to make this phone go hot. Why? Yeah, we wanna test what this baby can do. So I'm gonna click open here, all right. So I've connected the camera. I'm gonna click here, add a device, and it's going to be Thermal Imager plugin. All right, insert the device into the phone USB port. Let me do this. Oh, loading Thermal Imager, guys. <laughs> Here we are. So absolutely flawless, guys. I was able to connect it to my Android phone, the Samsung S25 Ultra, and also to my iPhone 16 Pro Max, guys. Now let's try to check some data, guys. This is my S25 Ultra, okay? You can see 43 Celsius already, guys. If I put it on the back, guys, let's try. Oh my God. Now finally, I can upgrade my game with the benchmarking and performance testing. So here is where the SOC is, as you can see, 43.1 Celsius guys and down below where just the battery is you can see it's 38. I'm gonna leave my S25 Ultra heating up with 3D Mark and in the meantime let's try to examine some options. So this thing here will turn on and off the enhanced IR function so I'm just gonna keep that on. Let's try to check this thing here. This setting here is gonna give us a real view from the camera but this is something that we don't really want. What we want is really to check the heat that is coming out from the phone and guys let's try to do this omg now this thing is raising all right let's try to point it again 45.9 guys this is going to turn the auto calibration on and off guys when the auto calibration is turned on the camera will calibrate like every 10 seconds which might not be ideal if you're shooting continuous um, photos or you want to take continuous videos this is the calibration when you do this you're going to get a message please do not calibrate the image frequently oh and this thing here is very useful as it's going to rotate the whole image okay very very cool guys by the way 46.8 let's click on the measurement all right we can do the center one which will give us just the indication in celsius i can also just include the hot one which will give me maximum all right and then center but i can also do the cold one so let's just go to an area here and right now you can see all right uh, the maximum temperature 46.8 and if I do like this, you can see the maximum is 46, but the minimum is something like 22. And then we have the point one. This will allow you to just click exactly at a section you wanna measure. All right, so let's measure here around the camera. 
37 here around the SLC. Oh, and it gives multiple points, by the way. This is so cool. Can you see this, guys? All right, let me just do this one more time. I'm going to measure here. Okay, it's going to add a third point. Then we have a line. Okay, what is line? So draw a line on image area, tap the line icon to exit. So well, let's try to pretend that we want to measure here. I'm going to draw a line. <laughs> And now guys, it's going to scan that area. And then we have the rectangle, which I think is gonna be something like this. So you can measure the whole section. This is so cool, guys. You can just do so many things with this camera. And of course you can clear it all. So let's try to clear this all, guys. And now I'm gonna just do a rectangle here, which is gonna give me the maximum temperature, the minimum and the average as well. This is very, very good. This is exactly what I need and my performance testing guys and now let's click on the palette guys because here we do have plenty of options this is the standard one it's iron bow then we have sepia you can see this is changing the colors then we have this thing here there are really so many options guys for you to adjust uh, the representation this one is very very good by the way you can like you can totally see where the hit is there is also this thing here which is like a sepia all right, sepia is here and pure black and white. So there are so many options, guys, for you to just see what your own style is. And of course, you can also create a custom one. This is so good, guys. I'm going to be using this in my benchmarking and performance future videos. And then we have the image. So here you have brightness. So apparently you can correct the bra. Oh my God, <laughs> this is real like brightness correction. Then we have also the contrast. So you can make the image more contrasty if you want. And then you can also sharpen it like crazy, you can see. And then we have color distribution. So we have two options here, um, histogram and linear. All right. One last menu called parameter, rubber, paint, wood, asphalt. So I guess all these materials, guys, you can adjust the camera to get better readings. Then you have the distance, all right, distance settings, temperature range, wow. First level, minus 20 to 150 Celsius. Second level, guys, 100 to 400 Celsius. Then you have the uh, temperature unit like Celsius, Fahrenheit and also Kelvin. And then you have high temp, high temp 80 Celsius or low temp 20 Celsius. Like this is a temperature alarm. And now guys, the fun part, you can also take photos with this camera, okay? And also videos. We are now detecting 47 Celsius in this area here, guys. This is gonna be usually where the SOC, uh, like the system on a chip, the CPU and everything else. So 47.5. And now let me tell you why this camera is cool because here with my Tangen guys, you can see that I can only measure the temperature on the surface. It's gonna give me something like 45. Okay, it's like 45, 45.3. But when I aim my new thermal camera, you can see that the temps are much higher guys. I got all of this here in video. This is so, so cool. And let me show you some more cool things because with a the thermal image camera like this, you can measure multiple things, starting from your household, checking energy efficiency inspection, or let's say if you want to do some repairs on your car, so automotive diagnostic, you know, we want to do any kind of like electronic repairs like PCB and stuff like this, circuit boards. This camera is going to give you, I guess, good enough information for you to know what is happening. So right now I'm going to share some more use cases and my household. As you can see, I'm trying to measure my aquarium right now and I got an indication, okay, 28.3, which is, I think, just about fine for my fish. This is also very interesting, guys. This is an outer wall and you can see definitely colder, you know, than my inner walls, all right? So what are the temps reading? You can see them down below. It's actually from 14 Celsius to 18 Celsius, okay? And the moment I switch to my internal wall, you can see that the temperature is tiny bit hotter. And this is so cool, guys, because with a camera like this, you're also able to analyze for leaks or for, let's say for humidity, because again, if you have like lower temperature readings, that something might not be okay. And you can also check for insulation inside and stuff like this. And take a look at this guys this is just me flushing the hot water and it really looks like lava and take a look at this guys this is my cat <laughs>
This is my recording light, also my mouse and my laptop. And as you can see, all these devices, guys, they do have a heat signature. And this camera is totally able to capture them. So honestly, I am very happy with the results. And guys, if you wanna check the camera, I'm gonna put a link down below. So in my next benchmarking and performance videos, guys, I'm gonna be able to give you more relevant thermal information. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Stay safe, VST over, and bye.